you have learned about various types of motions in physics. Can you guess the name of a motion in which a body moves back and forth about a fixed point? Yes, you are right. It's vibratory motion, also known as oscillatory motion. Vibrations are as common in nature. For example, a spider detects its prey due to the vibrations produced in the web. In this video, we are going to learn about a special type of vibratory motion that we call simple harmonic motion. But before beginning, we need to know some important terminologies that are related to oscillatory motion. Number one is the mean position. It is the resting or equilibrium position of a vibratory body as in the mass spring system shown in this figure. The position O is the mean position. Secondly, we look at the extreme positions. The extreme position is the point at which the vibratory body is at its maximum displacement from its mean position. If we take the example of the same figure as shown on this side, you can see that the points A and B are the two extreme positions. Thirdly, we have vibrations. Vibration is the complete round trip of a vibratory or oscillatory body that is from the initial position and back to it. Number four, time period. A time period is the time required to complete one vibration or oscillation by a vibratory body. Number four, frequency. Frequency is the reciprocal of time period. As I said a moment ago, in a time period, we calculate the time required to complete one vibration. But in frequency, we consider time as one unit, which means that the frequency is the number of vibrations completed in one second. Now, the next term that we need to know is amplitude. The amplitude is the maximum distance of a vibratory body from its mean position. In the case of this figure, the distance from O to A is the body's amplitude. Then we have the restoring force. The restoring force is a force that is always directed towards the mean position of the body and is responsible for its vibratory motion. Related to restoring force is the net force or resultant force. The net force is the force that is responsible for the movement of a body.